and so I speak, speak. so you would see through the fine intimacies, intimacies and openings. My words, my words are like bears of beginnings, healing wounds that mark my endings. endings. See in this life, life. every wordsmith, even the monosyllabic semistic. I am, I am the oracle, oracle, awakening the asleep, the ever-present, week after week after week after week. Today we are we are having so much fun here. By the way, um, we are joined by Bebang C, of course Aya De Leon and Viva Andrada. Viva Vu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls, describe to me um, the language of love. Viva, being the published <laughs> <laughs> author of survival, <laughs> your guide to life. Okay, let's talk about this. Language of love. Wow, it's the way you. You connect with another person. It's the look of love. Also, I think it's the totality of the person that wants to hug you, mm -hmm. and then you want to hug that person also, and then you communicate well. It's a language of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, all levels you go well together. Okay, it works out because it's language it's, of love. It is love. Yeah, I am. Sweat coming from a packed MRT. It's bad breath in the morning. It's a uh, it's used underwear. It's uh, uh, shoes that have stepped on feces. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's those boring days when you have nothing to say. Language of love. Being there when it all happens, just choosing to stick to that. That is so sweet. Wow. You, Beba. <laughs> <laughs> How would you best describe ah, the okay. language of love? It's it's fun and it's uh, full of respect as well. So. Um, when you are having fun, it means you communicate well with each other. Katulad na sinabi ni Viva kanina. Uh, and of course, at the same time, you don't forget um, yung fun side ng, mm -hmm. ng, ano, no, ng um, pakikipag-usap sa isa't isa. So, if you're enjoying, uh, if you're enjoying, um, pakikipag-usap lang? Mm -mm. Sexy <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you're enjoying every minute with each other, it doesn't have to. Uh, it doesn't have to uh, be, ano, full of words lage. Because mm -hmm. you know, if you think language of love, it would be about uh, usually words because we're writers yes. and we we perform words. So uh, it doesn't have to be about words always. It also means uh, yung yung gestures, yung mga um, things that you do for someone that you love. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about the themes that you write about. Are you more comfortable writing about love? <laughs> okay, let's go with Aya first. Oh, yung yung Peter form mo kanina Aya. Oh. Okay, uh, I guess um, love is different, you know, has different um, facets to it. Uh, it's such a universal thing. Mm -hmm. It just transcends time, period, and gender, uh, um, what do you call this, age, race. Mm -hmm. It's something that people need. It's something that, pe that people desire and desire to give as well. Mm -hmm. You know, we fumble. The, the reason why it's so easy to to write about it, or it's the closest to my heart to write about it, it's not just because it's uh, it's that thing that's so insatiable. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's because we fumble around trying to give the best kind of love and trying to look for it as well. I guess the reason, one of the reasons why we are looking for that perfect love is because we're also willing to give it. Yeah. But we're not just <laughs> willing to give it to the wrong one.
Sugurin ang hindi mo mapili Pumupilitin ang hindi mo maisip Pumusuyo rin ang hindi mo mawari Pumupilitin na ako Ang mahina rin tao lang pa Umanina damag pa Puso kong baliw sa tagsala Ang nangyari to pa Naminin ko na mama pa Yari ang puso pag Tao po, tao lang Gusto ko sanang umibig Tao lang Tao po, tao lang Umundaanin sa pagtitig Mahina rin tao lang pa o mahina dano pa Puso kong baliw sa tagsala Pag nangyari to, paano namin ko na mama pa Yari ang puso pag pinilit mo yan Mahina rin tao lang pa o mahina dano pa Puso kong baliw sa tagsala Pag nangyari to, paano namin Follows my music. Well, from from before when I was in still with with my band, and now that I'm not solo, this song is a is a salute to all those people who have encouraged me along the way. So this was released for free. It's downloadable for free in my website www.iadeleon.com. If you don't know how to spell my name, it's spelled as A I A. So it's downloadable for free, and enjoy it. There's a video also of it, and yeah, let's see where where this takes me. The the industry has has shifted so much. This the landscape has changed so much. Just a few years, and because of technology, mm -hmm. no, yeah, uh, it's a different playground. Yeah. And so let's see if I can afford to churn out an album, but I do have songs, mm -hmm. uh, English and Tagalog. In, yeah. in the course of your writing, have you found love? Now? <laughs> what do <laughs> you mean, like? Um, <laughs> since when did you start writing about love? I don't remember, but it was years ago. Was years ago, but yeah. during the course of it, during were you able to find love, discover the different facets of it? Yes. 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 Um, mm, we're talking about romantic love here, mm -hmm. because you 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 also experience love, you know, familial love, uh, love love from love from a friend, 
love from uh, you know an audience, love from yeah, you see, you know yeah. So yes, I've discovered love. Uh, mm -hmm. I've discovered um, um, Jesus' love. Mm -hmm. So I think when I when I truly got what that meant and how how real it is. Um, everything, everything that I thought love was, uh, was, was challenged and was deemed selfish, mm -hmm. you know, so I, there was a big shift and makeover uh, with my concept of, of love mm -hmm. and love in general. Given a <coughs> variety of topics to choose from, would you still consider love as your like the number one theme? <coughs> would you'd rather explore? Yeah, I'd rather explore love instead of environmental uh, environmental love issues. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I talk about leaves, and it will always lead to love. I mean, to 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 complain to start writing and complain about you know the air is full of pollution, whatever it's yeah, over yeah. warming. I mean, okay, yeah, yeah. And we're all dead in a few years and whatever. So yeah, 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 yeah. it will always bring me back to, I will always be led to write what the bottom line is. Mm -hmm. It's about care, caring for what we have. Imagine this, we only have one planet. Well, we only have one home. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere else to go. But if you truly cared and, we, and if you truly loved, yeah. Loved, you know, our our fellow men. If we loved our our environment, if we, you know, we would care for it. Yeah. You know, simple as that, because that's what love is. Yeah. Right. On a different angle, not yeah, romantic love, but it's a, it's an act of love. Yeah, it's love it's for nature. It's decision. Mm -hmm. It's a decision that you make. You know, a verb that you, that you live out. Mm -hmm. So, there. Yeah. Okay, Viva, let's talk about <laughs> your love life. No, we're going to talk about <laughs> surviving your book, Survival. Is it still out in yeah, stores? Yeah, it's still sold at National Bookstore. <laughs> okay, Survival, Your Guide to Life is mm -hmm. an inspirational book, and it has over 150 life guides, including Miss Cookie Twazan. Oh, yeah, I remember <laughs> yeah. that. So it has poems, <laughs> and it has places here where you could also write your mm -hmm. story, because... Every person has a story to tell, so I think people should also discover their story because they could also realize more about themselves, reflect, mm -hmm. and then also gain knowledge from other people, mm -hmm. things that they went through, and then just relate to each other, I mean, other mm -hmm. people. I think <clears throat> because life is all about connections also, mm -hmm. and life is about love. You prefer to talk about life. Yeah, because life is love. We're all here because of love. So we're all living because yeah, of it love. It goes hand in hand. A survivor's manifesto. I will survive, strive, and thrive despite life's challenges. I will stay strong and hold on even when I want to quit. I will keep pushing, keep dreaming, keep my passion burning. Even in the face of opposition, I will respect myself at all times. I will stay alert and focused on my goals. I will learn from every experience life teaches me and get better every day. I will survive and adapt to changes. I will swim and stay afloat even in the face of panic. I will keep a cool head and flow with the changing times. I will survive heartbreaks, separations, disappointments, pain and loss. I will love and cherish life. I will build relationships and have a support network. I will not burn bridges. I will connect with people of all ages, walks, and fields of life. I believe every life stage has lessons to teach. I can lean on others and they can lean on me. I will survive. We are survivors. I believe every life stage has lessons to teach. We will survive. We are survivors. Your piece, it's lifted off uh, 
uh, your book, Survival, Survival Guide to Life. It's still yes. available at National <laughs> Bookstore. What I, made you write the manifesto? Okay, I thought about writing it is because I think people really need inspiration, especially nowadays. People tend to get lost with technology, all these gadgets, and mm -hmm. people don't seem to know how to relate well to one another. Mm -hmm. There's like this time that, well, we really need to talk to one another, communicate, not just online, but in person. Mm -hmm. It's really important to establish relationships, like what you're doing now, Cookie, bring your yeah. friends on your show. <laughs> I think it's more human, there's more personal touch if we really meet in person, not just surf online, check yeah. to see what's the latest fads or whatever in technology. We really have to remember that we are human beings and we have responsibility mm -hmm. to one another. So with this one, I just wanted to help people realize that they are important in this world, they also bring value, that every person has something to tell, something to teach to one another, and we shouldn't leave out anyone, because these people that we leave out, that we don't talk to, what do they do? They think of suicide and all of that. We should mm -hmm. stop that. We should really value our worth as people, and we have so many talents that we could share to other people. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep those talents, the gifts, multiply them, keep learning new things, don't stop at writing, um, I don't know, <laughs> read mm -hmm. books, performing. Do, yeah, performing, do more, because you're here to develop yourself and also to share the gift of life to other people. So what do you do? What, what else do you do aside from writing? Um, what else are you into? Okay, so I co-own a store with my sister, Happy. Mm -hmm. She's a fashion designer, and we have Fart Fashion Art. Fashion wow. Art, abbreviated Fart. <laughs> <laughs> and you also bake. Yeah, and I also bake. <laughs> See, uh, Viva uh, baked this yeah. cake. Thank you, man. <laughs> I murdered the cake. Well, <laughs> it was good. And, uh, there's more. <laughs> yeah, it's for the crew. Okay, Bebang is also a published writer, published poet. Tell us more about your books. You have a lot of books sold out already. Oh. Ako naman, ano, um, I don't always write about love. Uh, I love to write about different topics. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I always challenge myself to write about something that is not very far familiar to me. So, that's how I uh, how I churn out works. Ganyan. So, mm -hmm. iba-iba din yung books ko. Iba-iba mm -hmm. iba din yung kind of books ko. Uh, mostly, uh, I, I also explore different genres in mm -hmm. when I write. So, ang una kong libro, yung solo, is, is an erotica. Wow. But uh, this is about, you know, ano, uh, migration. No? So, uh, uh, parang against ako sa pagpapadala ng OFW. Okay. And that's erotica? <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh. Wow. So I use the genre to mm -hmm. to um to make the reader realize that it's really uh hindi siya helpful sa atin bilang isang bansa. No, yung magpadala ng maraming 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 OFW. Then this is my second book, it's a men's world. It's about um men coming <laughs> It's about menstruation. Menstruation. <laughs> it's about menstruation. So uh coming of age so yun. Uh, essay naman siya, book essay. So, ito naman, yung third book ko ay... It's a children's, children's book. book. Yeah. So, after erotica, <laughs> <laughs> and after writing about men, I write about men. Yeah. Kasi naka-sea men. Ayan. Ito lang plural form niya, no? Sea men. <laughs> so, maraming sea men sa dagat. <laughs> okay. So, it's about... Uh, Pero actually, love din to. Love for family naman. Si Marnie Marino ay mapagmahal. Ay, macho. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. Tapos, ito naman yung uh, isa sa latest books ko. It's Raining Men's. Actually, parang ano siya eh. Um, part, sequel, nung It's a Men's World. So, it's, a ra it's Raining Men's. Ito, tungkol naman to sa love. Kasi ito tungkol sa ano yung pagdadalaga. So, ito yung... Mm -hmm. Uh, maraming maraming uh, mga napagdaanan ko sa relationships, ganyan. Saka sa pagiging mother, so, yan. So, I was a solo parent for more than 15 years before wow. I found true love. 
that's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oo, yan. Tapos, tapos, ah, so, ano din siya. Actually, kakaiba to, hindi mo siya makategor- makategorize sa isang uri ng book. Mm-hmm. Because it's not fiction, it's not, it's not essay, mm-hmm. it's not poems. H- how would you best describe it? Para siyang textbook eh, compilation siya ng iba't ibang genre. So, yun. So, kakaiba siya. So, that's, that's how I write. Ilaging, gusto ko yung kakaiba para sa akin, hindi iisa mm-hmm. lang. So, I don't just write about love. But, this one, eto, actually, may isa pa to'y dalawa, isa dilaw. Magkaiba mm-hmm. ng laman, no? Kambal na book. Hinuno sa puso is, uh, parang, alam niyo ba yung, ano, yung, kay Papa Jack, yung mga, yeah, yeah. yung mga, ano, yung advice <laughs> about love, sex, and relationships. And, ang target market is, um, young Filipino, uh, young Filipino people, kasi, mm-hmm. dyan sila medyo sablay, no? So, maraming okay. maraming hugot, pero hindi makagawa ng magagandang decision sa, sa life. So, I explored naman, also uh, about love, but the genre is, re, ano, advice. Okay. Advice columns. Ayan. So, yun. Wow. So, hindi ako hmm. na kontento sa isang topic. Ayan. Tsaka sa isang genre. That's how I write. <laughs> Pakiusap. Ihatid mo ang lungkot sa aking bakuran. Huwag ka mag-alala. Tiniyak kong nakatali ang asong kap- bibigay lang ng kapitbahay. Winalis ko rin ang tuyot na dahon. At kanina, nagsabog ako ng sampaga sa daraanan. Baka sakali ay madama ng lungkot na siya'y kinasasabikan. Niliha ko ang bawat baitang ng hagdan nang hindi masalubsob ang kanyang talampakan. Pagkatanggap mo nito'y bukas na ang pinto ng tahanan, handa na sa iyong iahatid, at handa ka na rin matanaw kahit man lang isang saglit. Okay, let's talk about the piece you read earlier. Um, it's part of one of your books also. Mm, it's part of It's Raining Men's mm-hmm. because it's about a what, person. What, what made you choose um, to read that piece? Ah, because it became a part of a project called Poem Calls by Publicity Men's Basics. It's an ad agency. They, uh, they conceptualized the project to promote Filipino poetry. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you call their office, uh, instead of uh, listening to music while waiting for someone to pick up the phone, mm-hmm. you will hear uh, poems by Filipino poets uh, about uh, waiting. Okay. <laughs> That's topic. actually an interesting yeah. concept. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So instead of ano, instead of music, yun na lang, because they they want to promote Philippine literature. It's actually part of the ano uh, National Literature Month mm. last April. So I I chose this because it's I never thought that that poem will be heard over and over again. I hindi ko yun inimagine when I wrote that. Mm-hmm. Yun. So nagulat ako na napili siya. I was asked to read it a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Tapos doon ko na na-realize na ang maganda yung indayog ng mga salita. Mm-hmm. Lalo na uh, nasa Filipino siya, Filipino language. Mm-hmm. Ayun. What do you think about waiting, Bebam? What is your personal um, view of that? <laughs> do you um, think you've waited long enough <laughs> I to think... get to that point? <laughs> oh, I think so. Waiting is, a, is part of life. It makes you, ano, it makes you um, appreciate all the things that that are around you while you are waiting. Because although I, I I hate doing that, kunwari, di ba, nasa pila ka? Parang oh, yeah. feeling mo, sa yung oras, <laughs> o nasa pila ka sa banko, sa MRT, kahit saan, no? Mm-hmm. O kaya may hinihintay kang dumating na package. Sayang eh, pero it makes you appreciate the time makes you appreciate everything around you. So, it's a very, very good process. I can also uh, talk about yung nangyari sa akin. I have been writing since I was in college. Um, I have been publishing works since I was in college. It's about 
um, mostly popular literature, yung mga ghost stories, mga mm-hmm. stories uh, tungkol sa gulay, yan, <laughs> para sa bata. <clears throat> Tapos, uh, parang ano, parang I always think about my professors. I admire them. Sabi ko, gusto ko maging katulad nila, nasikat na maganda yung mga gawa, may mga libro, ganyan. And then, I, while waiting for that to happen, mm-hmm. I just wrote this, this, ano, no, popular, <laughs> popular mm-hmm. literature. I wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote. Tapos, until, and yun nga, yung lumabas yung It's Raining Men's, itong book na to, it was, parang, it made my waiting so, uh, ano ba to? So worth, worth it. it. Oo. So, parang, lahat pala yun, it was part of the process for me to become a better writer. Do you want you ladies are one of the few women I admire? Actually, you're all part of my book. <laughs> we can <laughs> lie. We can we admire you. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, okay. Tell us more about your um, day-to-day um, experience with producing words. Does it happen on a daily basis? Like, do you write about whatever you see, whatever you experience, whatever you feel, whatever you smell? Are you that sensitive? Ah, uh, yeah. To your What the hell? I'm not a libro. But you, you know, I am I just a songwriter. Oh, oh, your songs, mo naman. Mas mahirap kaya gumawa nun. May words na may music pa. Yung sa amin, di tumutun yun. Wala. Do you, do you come up with the music first? Ah, yeah. uh, no. Uh, it, depends. it depends. It depends. Okay. Uh, well, it's it's a bit different for me because... Um, do, do you keep a notebook with you all the time? Yeah. Buti na lang may cell phone. Buti na lang may cell phone. Oh, kasi yeah. Like when you're walking... You take note of things. Ito na ha. Ito na. Ayun, yung yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba, alam mo yung parang maiihi ka. Ganun yung need to stop. No, I mean, you need to stop. And then, check yourself. Because you might, in your zoning out, you might look stupid. And if you're mm-hmm. in front of other people, it's like, it's weird. Diba? Yeah. So, that's the second thing. So, when a thought comes or when a phrase Walter comes, diba? I stop. It's most difficult when I'm driving in the car. Okay. And then, ito na. It's like, oh. Kasi kasi sum- nagsuslow down, kasi kumaga nun eh. Kumaga nun. So, sometimes I cause traffic, I hit the brakes, and then, ano, tapos I get the phone, and then okay. record the thought. Wow. Record the thought, and then go. Yan, parang gano'n. Hindi na type. Ano sa isang ko type? Hindi. <laughs> ang hirap eh. Kasi, <laughs> kasi magagalit. Mag- maraming magagalit. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yung, i- record mo na lang na gano'n. Or, it, or if it's a yeah. musical, if it's a musical phrase, then, ano, 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 ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, at home naman, when I'm sleeping, let's say, I'm sleeping, there's always a, there's always a, a sketch pad mm-hmm. uh, right next to me. And okay. Books. <laughs> and then, pens. Okay. So, um, you know, sometimes when I wake up uh, to visit the ladies' room, you know, sometimes there's a thought. So, you kind of scribble it. Mm-hmm. And hope that you know you'd be able to read, to, read, it, to tomorrow. read it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm always ano ano ko kyan sa mga ano. So any any time is is um, I'm I'm always uh, on all the time because I okay. really have a love for words. Okay. I really have uh, you know when I, when you're walking alone. That's why I like being alone. I like mm-hmm. wandering alone. Uh, Oh, or I like also staying at home. What if you're out on a date? <laughs> yes, there's a chance that you know I would zone out. Okay. Because it's like you know if I find if there's something about it's my so date bubble. that's annoying, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it would start probably with a scent. If he wears a, you know this, you know if he smells if good. Ah, uh, kaya ko. Oh yeah. Of course. Then you ano eh? Tapos yung kamay. Yeah. Tapos, makakagawa na ako ng ano minsan eh. Nang, parang ano, parang summary. Or, parang ganun. Eksena agad. Wow. Eksena siya agad. <laughs> para siya <laughs> man. Ano, para siya, oh, so minsan, ligaw. Tapos, mauli ko sa ligaw. Tapos, landi ko ulit. Diba? <laughs> <laughs> parang ganun, parang hindi siya. Bakit regular program. Ganun ba? Diba pagka may 
medyo na, ano mo siya, weird, no weird ako sa'yo. Yeah. Kumakal mo na yung kamay, tapos, ah, okay. Parang, okay, there was a reassurance. Yeah, yung parang, <laughs> Hoping na may star factor ka. Right? <laughs> <laughs> na pag inawakan mo, yung, ah, kiligin siya ng konti. Mat, ano siya? Ma, madistract siya sa ginawa ko. Okay, uh, Viva. Data writer, because we write the best love letters. And also, who knows, you could end up in our books. That's right. And also our songs. That's right. So, data writer. You won't go wrong. Yeah. Vivam. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't write every day, but mm -hmm. I, I, I really try my mm -hmm. best to do that. I also have a notebook with me. Mm -hmm. uh, para, uh, kunari, nasa bus ako, o mm -hmm. kaya, ano, naghihintay ako sa bangko, magsusulat ako, yun. Um, I usually uh, write best pag nandiyan na yung deadline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> o kaya, pag tapos na yung deadline. <laughs> Yun. So that's how I, I know I write. Okay. Any um, uh, parting thoughts to our audience? Um, be be brave. Uh, try other things that you haven't done before, because that's how you um, discover the talents that you have. And don't be afraid to uh, to share it with others. Ako hindi talaga performer. But I want other people to hear what I have written. So, kahit kahit hindi ako mag hindi ako magaling sa performance, I I always try to uh, read my works in public and uh, as much as as loud as I can. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so try doing that as well. <laughs> okay. In la. I uh, don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> I am a, you know, silent waters run. So I'm the type. let's talk about hookups. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Work hookups, friend hookups, and romantic hookups. Interesting. www.ayodeleon.com. Spell as A-I-A. Viva, advice. Love yourself. Don't forget yourself. I know they'll say it's selfish, blah, blah, blah. But really, if you don't look after yourself, how are you going to relate to other people? Who's going to look after you if you don't love yourself? So don't forget that. Don't lose yourself in all this mess. Just love yourself. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye.